，电动车新革命，我是主持人佘日新。在上个礼拜呢，我们破天荒了哈，破这个节目的天荒了，<笑>邀请到一位全英文的呃受访者啊，他是台湾宾士的金恩中总裁，呃，他跟我们谈到了非常多跟呃使用者经验啊、使用者体验的这一些的呃考量，那他。啊、呃，台湾宾士或者是全球的 Mercedes 呢，他们在这个领域当中所投入的心力啊啊、呃，我们非常荣幸啊，再一次的能够邀请到金恩中总裁啊，来到我们的节目当中啊呃、uh, ，Thank you for coming again. Uh, would you introduce yourself again? <laughs> sure. Thank you for having me here. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is E.C. Kim,、uh, CEO and President of Mercedes-Benz Taiwan. I'm very happy to be here and looking forward to our conversation. OK， 呃，我我很惊讶哈，这个因为呃，金恩中呃总裁呢，他是韩国裔的德国人啊。那呃，我呃上个礼拜问他说，哎，那个恩中要怎么念哈、啊？因为有的时候我们不太会念韩文，因为很多 en c h u n or <笑> but you pronounce 恩中，恩中 exactly the the Chinese pronunciation very similar yes very similar <笑>。呃，所以呃，这个。上个礼拜呢，我们从比较软的层面来跟大家谈。那我们今天持续的来看哈，因为呃，上个礼拜我们谈到了很多呃呃价值链啊，价值链上面有非常多的 vendors。那这些供应商呢，呃，共同的创造了 Mercedes 的荣耀啊。啊，在这个呃这这么许多的伙伴当中呢，其实汇聚在一个非常重要的一个系统上面哈，就是呃，我相信呃，我们的听众朋友。呃，过去这几十年来哈，使用电脑就会非常清楚哈。这里面有一个关键的一个角色，就是作业系统。那同样的，在 Mercedes 里面有一个呃 MBOS 哈，呃，我想请教总裁哈，呃 ，Would Would you explain、uh, the importance of the connecting or、uh, integrating the software and the hardware through your MBOS? Yes.、Um I, I think, like you just said,、uh, integration, the、mm-hmm. connection and hardware and software is、mm-hmm. becoming more and more、uh, decisive in our industry.、Yeah. Right. So, how do we differentiate ourselves in terms of customer experience towards uh, our cu- uh, competitors, and how do we deliver the Mercedes-Benz、uh, moment、uh, to our customers? And MBOS is、uh, playing a pivotal role. In that,、uh, which we can experience in in two three years time,、uh, we will have the MBOS then in our cars.、Um, MBOS stands for Mercedes-Benz Operating System,、uh, and with this proprietary、um, development,、uh, we want to retain and gain full responsibility for all the critical infrastructure and all strategically important aspects that we think. Is exactly paying into this strategic differentiation、mm-hmm. and customer experience.、Mm-hmm. Uh, in easy words, in my uh, image, uh, we are building our own Mercedes-Benz house,、mm-hmm. um, where we want our customers living in that house feel safe and and comfortable, and to make this life in that house that we call MBOS as luxurious and comfortable and safe, we will cooperate with different companies on different layers. Uh, to exactly deliver、uh, that customer experience within the MBOS、mm-hmm. um, ecosystem,、um, the MBOS.、Uh, when we talk about ecosystem, it's not just one system, but it's covering、uh, an array of of areas yeah. Yeah.、Um, that goes from driving assistance, navigation, infotainment to、uh, charging for our battery electric vehicles. Yeah. Um, um. May I something? May I say something funny? <laughs> sure.、Uh, because I、uh, I compare、uh, the OS system to PC system,、mm-hmm. uh, OS system.、Uh, I think most people、uh, have the experience that、uh, when the,、uh, my computer shut down, I have to <laughs> I have to relaunch the program, right? But、uh, You just mentioned about safety, right?、Uh, in, ter- in in auto industry, in auto world, there's n- zero defect allowance, right? No, n- nothing can be uh, uh, expected for the any unexpected, right? So、uh, that's really challenging.、Uh, you 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 told us 
about um, um, many arrays, and especially uh, when we come to the cybersecurity side, uh, 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 we, we had an interviewee uh, mentioned about um, uh, uh, security by design, security by design. So uh, that, that, that would be very high high end, <laughs> really tough goal, really difficult to achieve. So uh, and we understand that we have uh, all all kinds of international standards you have to comply with. Mm -hmm. But even though that I think. Um, Based on uh, Mercedes' uh, reputation and your brand uh, positioning, oh, I, I would say a zero defect allowance, right? <laughs> I I think you you you, you, yeah. ca you cannot uh, shut down your your car and yes. relaunch it again, right? Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> yes. I I think you're you're mentioning a very important aspect, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is how do you make the customer feel safe. Now, there are different layers, right? Yeah. I think you touched upon several ones. The, the one thing is uh, data privacy, mm -hmm. uh, right? Um, we already uh, are cooperating locally and also on a regional level, on a global level uh, with different policymakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how to be not only compliant, but also really have the systems and, uh, and the infrastructure to ensure uh, the safety. It's not only coming with MBOS, but it's already happening today. And as you said, the world is heterogeneous. And when it comes to data storage, you know, where do you store, where do you share? Um, so this kind of information uh, is, is very, very critical that we are looking into um, very, very carefully. Um, the second part is more maybe this operating uh, of the system, of yeah. the car. Yeah. Right. Um, so that is, uh, I, I think, um, as you said, yeah, um, zero tolerance, uh, zero, uh, hundred percent safety. That is our vision. That is our target, uh, both for battery electric vehicles as well as our combustion engines. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are no different standards yeah. between these two worlds. Uh, and when we are now going more and more into more electrified drivetrains, of course, there are more components, more control units. We need to. Uh, connect to each other that we can ensure the safety, uh, but our safety standards uh, of Mercedes-Benz remains the same for both IC and BEV cars. Yeah, um, 我刚刚请教总裁的就是有关于在整个，因为呃，我刚刚开了一个玩笑了哈，就是大家都有使用这个电脑然后宕机的这个经验哈，但是呢，在这个汽车的世界里面呢，它安全应该是首要之物啊。那、呃、如果整个控制系统啊，那、呃、在这个作业系统上面啊、呃，出了任何的闪失的话，那这里面呃问题就非常的严重。所以总裁也特别提到，他们整个在开发的过程当中，不仅仅是他们自己跟呃内部的啊，那跟他们的 vendor 啊、呃，还有在各国的这些法令啊，那因为这里面涉及到呃，除了这个电气化的部分呢，因为车联网。啊，会让许许多多的数据啊，会连出去啊，那可能连到一个伺服器里面，可能连到其他的车辆，那这些的啊安全性呢，啊，它的这个考量就已经超越了过往的一个驾驭一辆汽车这么简单的事情啊。那呃，总裁这边呃分享了他们。啊，的整个的目标啊，那当然就是说里面的细节，今天的时间的关系，不可能跟大家讲得太细。但是呢，整体我们会看到这个复杂的呃新的时代当中呢，有更多的整合的工作需要去完成。嗯呃，没没呀。Yeah, maybe maybe just to add, yeah, maybe just to elaborate a little bit more. Yeah. I think um, safety has always been at the core yeah. of Mercedes-Benz, yeah. right? So when you are driving Mercedes, you you are safe, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> um, and that safety uh, element is uh, very important not only for the drivers and the car and the people in the car, but we are looking also at uh, pedestrians and other neighboring cars, right? So yeah. all the driving assistance systems that we're putting into the car, I think, exactly helps and and serves the purpose. Purpose yeah. of a more safe uh, environment, yeah. right? Um, and yes, there are many, many players and many auto uh, um, car makers who have today already the level two driving assistance systems. Mm -hmm. But I can only en encourage you and all everybody <laughs> to really experience it mm -hmm. because there is a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah? There is a difference in acceleration. There is a difference in reliability, feeling of safety when you are really experiencing. 
um, the driving assistance systems in the Mercedes Benz. 嗯，呃，这个宾士哈，我想这两个字打出来就就是呃呃，就是信信任感了哈。呃呃，整个企业的品牌建构在不断的传递最核心的这个安全的价值给大家哈。呃，虽然他们有这个。所谓的 worldwide、uh, developer network， 但是呢，不是所有人都能够进去的哈、哦。那也就是说，对于自己在整个这个呃啊，不管是什么安全啊、哦，可能是驾驶的安全、工程的安全，或者是在这个呃资讯安全啊、哦，这这些年来，资讯安全变成是一个非常严重的一个问题。那因为资讯安全一定一旦啊。呃受到挑战的时候呢，那整个包含连各自哈、啊，那当然驾驶的安全这些全面的的问题都会出来啊。那所以呃，如果各位啊真的想要成为 Mercedes Benz 的 partner， that would be possible becoming a、uh, Mercedes partner， right？ Vendor， right？ But you have to be validated. Yes, through yes. very strict processes, right? So, 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 so,